we have an issue this morning with this truck. This is the older truck right here. Um, so I'm just gonna load up with the 1500. I didn't want to because the customer is putting, he, we're picking up shingles for the customer. So it's gonna be a bit heavier, but uh, let's see what this bad boy can handle. So we all load it up. Change up. It's tricky in the morning because this one goes all the way back to the garage. It's kind of tricky. Maybe I'm gonna push that far back. I'm trying to get your truck to sit on its incline like this. You kind of have to use your parking brake, your brake, and your reverse just to kind of get it set up there so it doesn't roll down an inch. But uh, yeah, we're using this truck to pull this. And I know you're probably thinking why I have this at a residential spot, but we are looking for a lot. But fortunately, fortunately we have family and friends throughout the city who has enough space for us to keep a dumpster there if needed. So, um, we don't have a problem. Plus, I'm not in a hurry to pay 500 plus dollars a month, honestly, <laughs> for um, for storage. But yeah, today I'm gonna have the kids with me, taking them on a field trip. We're doing a Home Depot pickup and then a drop off. So yeah, catch you in a minute. What up, y'all? Uh, I'm in route to Home Depot. I'm meeting a, a customer over there for a pickup, a material pickup. So as you saw at the beginning of the video, um, our F-250 didn't want to start this morning. One of the F-250s, my brother has um, has another 8 a.m. drop off this morning. So that's the reason I got this truck because I didn't have access to the second F-250 at the very beginning. And we were missing out on a lot of money because everybody wants to get the trailer first thing in the morning so it was difficult for him to drop off a trailer at 7 a.m and then go back to pick up another trailer and then drop it off so he's getting there you know well after eight and a lot of customers wanted um they even wanted 6 a.m because we do a lot of roofers and they like to get in and get out but we weren't able to do that so that's the reason um I got this truck, the 1500, so that um, I can have an extra drop-off truck. Now, I'm doing material pickup. I'm not supposed to be doing material pickups in this truck. So, unfortunately, like I said, the other truck is down, so I have to use it. But I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna see how well it does with shingles in the back. It's not too far, so that's why um, I'm not super concerned not too far from the Home Depot but it's just another way you can make money um, you can ask you can ask, ask your customers if you can do shingles or whatever it, is, it may be in your area anytime someone calls and they, and they let me know that they have a shingle job you can ask them hey for an extra $75 extra $100 I'll pick up the material for you and you'd be surprised how many of them don't exactly have a way to pick up the material yet so that's something, you know, that's a convenience service that you're providing right there. Because it's, it's not really, there's normally Home Depot loads wherever they're going, like in route to where we're going. Just like right now, I would actually be passing. I'll actually be passing this Home Depot anyway. So for me, it's just an extra $75 just to, um, just to head that way anyway and to load up a trailer. So you just sit in the car and, um, and they load up the trailer. So that's just another way that, that we add on additional income to our business. Another thing that we do is we um, we reach out to a lot of like small mom and pop appliance stores. Um, you'll find some guys that's, that has like a small shop in it and they repair washers, dryers, dishwasher, whatever it is. And I let them know, hey, if you need delivery, we'll do that. So we, I've connected with two different companies. I haven't started working for them yet just because of Christmas and everything. But 
they did mention that there is an opportunity for us to work together because they have a lot of deliveries and a lot of pickups. So they'll have they'll have customers looking to get a new uh, machine, but they don't have a way to get their used machine to them because they'll be they'll trade in sometimes. So that's another way hitting up appliance shops and uh, tire shops. We've been reaching out to tire shops as well, and. I've gotten some good feedback. One of the major tire shops who I would really like to work with because they're, they're so busy is um, one that's not too far from my house. And they just asked that if we can get the trailer raised up about seven feet. So instead of five feet high, we can get seven feet because they, they like to stack the tires up. So, and that's gonna cost us an extra $200 of wood and material to, uh, to build one of the trailers up there. So I'm at Home Depot and one thing to note is if you tight on schedule, make sure you push your next drop off or pick up. Give yourself some room because these drop offs the customer has no control, you have no control. Um, so right now they're loading up this, they're loading up this van and they can run into all kinds of issues. So anytime I do this right here, I make sure that I have enough room or I make sure my brother is free uh, if we have another delivery because like I said, you don't know how long it's gonna take and you're just basically in line and you're waiting for the workers to load you up depending on how efficient, how fast they are. So always give yourself some room if you do decide to do a material pickup and then drop off. So this is my load right here they put on here. So I definitely felt it. <laughs> my truck definitely felt it. So. Uh, so yeah, like I told y'all, this truck isn't supposed to be pulling all of that weight, but I'm not going that far. So I hope, um, I'll be fine. I think it's gonna be fine, but I'll let y'all know in a second. Just my luck. They have this, it's the tightest spaces people want you to get into. But I always try, if it's possible, but I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna try it too long because it's real tight and I gotta figure out how to make it back around. So this is what I'm about to try to pull into. You you want me to try to still back it in here, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. right here. Get the job done, we had to do a little digging. You can see how close we got on my time off. Right here. On this side. We got it in there.
So I've been trying to record this clip, but I keep getting calls. Which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so I just made, just made 350 from that job. That was from a, that was from meeting the customer at Home Depot, letting them load the material and drop off. A few things. One, I've never put that much weight on my truck. Um, but due to the 250 going down, I had to put it on my truck. And my truck did really well. It was a it was a really comfortable drive. So it's good to know in an emergency, if I need my truck, I can use my truck. But I'm not gonna make it habit. Um second thing was if it was a video game to back these trailers up in small spots, I would have definitely ranked up today. There was literally this much space on both ends when I was getting it in. I hope I got some good footage of it, but I got it in there. They should have tipped me, but um, that went well. A job well done. I'm about to uh, load up on some gas, um, book these other appointments, and I'm taking my kids to go get some fish and fish tanks, I think. So I'm checking out, man. It's another day with Dump That Dumps and Reynolds. Appreciate y'all. Peace.